Hey everyone, it's the Detective. Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be opening up this really cool Orlis Trino. This was actually released in the final wave of the Battle Planet Ultras, but the thing about this is that I don't have any more Bakugan to review from the recent waves. I definitely want to buy more, but I just don't have the funds to do so right now. So unfortunately, I'm going to start having to be creative, and that's not totally unfortunate. It's unfortunate in the fact that I can't continue doing standard Bakugan reviews until I get more stuff. But back in 2019, I did this thing where I would open up Bakugan that I received in the mail outside, somewhere outside of my house. Um, I know I did one, like, as soon as I got home from school and there was a package waiting for me, I just opened it right in the mailbox. I know I did one on the trampoline once, and uh, I'm going to be opening up this Trino. I got this about a year ago, but I never reviewed it. And this is only going to be the second time I'll be taking a look at Trino Ultra. I've taken a look at the Pyrus one before. I think he came in Ventus as well, but I didn't get it. It's really cold out here, so I might shake a little bit. But as you can see, this is just my uh, patio, basically. I would do it in the grass, but it recently snowed, like, about a week ago. And it's still all melting, so the grass and the mud in the... Or the grass and the dirt right now is really, really, like, wet. So I don't want to be out there filming, especially at night. So, um... I have, I think, like, five or six sealed Bakugan products that aren't from, like, the most recent couple waves that I will be opening up until I can get some more stuff. So... Be sure to leave a comment down below where you guys want me to open up Bakugan next. It'll just be some crazy, you know, like, unique location. Also, um, it's really cold. So, again, if you hear me, like, taking deep breaths or taking pauses, again. So, as you can see in the package, there's the Trino. For some reason, there's still glare. Um, I guess maybe just because I'm right next to my house, so the lights are on in there. You see Trino right there. Um, this is the first time I'll be opening up a Battle Planet product in a while, other than, I suppose, the Japanese Drago. You got Trino right there. Taking a look at the back, you got Trino, Baku cores, other Bakugan in the wave. And, uh, yeah, let's pop this guy open. And the light just shut off. So, yeah, it's a bit dark now. Anyway, though, here's the little checklist. I have a, a small, like, little LED light, so you should be able to see it. But, anyway... Here is the Trino. I'm just going to make a quick cut, and I'll take this out of the box. All right, so I went inside. I got a scissor. I cut out the Bakugan itself because there was a little plastic like, strap holding it in. And I also decided to go and cut out the card, so we can take a look at those later. Anyway, looking at the ball form here, uh, it does have, you can kind of see the, the top of his head along with the horns right there. And, of course, these silver pieces are the feet. And Trino Ultra is a really, like, overlooked design. Um, in fact, I don't even think I've really interacted with this guy much since I reviewed the Pyrus version over a year ago. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It was over a year ago. And I actually, I think I actually got this one over a year ago. I got this in, like, December, a couple months after it released, but I just never got around to opening it. So here we go. I actually also have a Goreen, so probably the next video that I do where I open a Bakugan in an unusual spot, it'll probably be the Goreen. Uh, anyway, though, you can see all these cool... I guess that's just uh, the metal, but you can see all these cool, like, almost bolt-looking designs. Very reminiscent of the core Trino, which I do I do have more copies of that one, and I'm just more familiar with it in general. Anyway, though, the cores, as you can see, 650, really good, actually, and then 200 minus 2, not too good. But let's roll this guy out. Careful, since I don't want to rub all the paint off, but ultimately it's a Bakugan, so let's go. And nope. Ooh. There we go. But you can see him right there. Of course, he does pick up the core on there, so that's very nice. Again, it's really cool that you get a 650 core. They were far more common back in Battle Planet. The horns, unfortunately, are manual, uh, and it's a little weird because the eyes, you can see the eyes, those are connected to the horns. So if you don't open the manual part, it looks really, really weird. Um, and the light just shut off again, but that's not a big deal. You can still see it. Um, but when we take a look around... I like the tail, and uh, he's a very compact Bakugan, but I do like how he has the spring-loaded head. That's a really cool part. I, I like that. That's it's definitely one of my favorite parts about the Bakugan, but the rest of the Bakugan is still not super dynamic. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite Ultra, but it's not my least favorite, and again, it's a dinosaur that's not Trox, so that's pretty dope. First up, Trino Ultra Magic Shield Helix 306. Not too good, but the art is pretty cool. And this is really cool. I really miss when they did this. In Battle Planet, they used to always give a card that actually, like, related to the Bakugan. So they give you an Orlis card here, and it actually has Trino on it. This is a Fierce Charge. Honestly, a pretty good flip. It's not Orlis. Orlis nowadays isn't actually too good. So if you're using an Orlis Bakugan in your deck, this is actually a really good flip to, to run because most people are not going to be running Orlis. So if you are using Orlis, you kind of have to play this. Uh, unless you're playing Darkest as well. In that case, I guess you could just stick with Pact. But either way, this is actually a pretty great flip. So yeah, guys, uh, that was my review of Trino Ultra. 
outdoors in freezing cold, I think it's like, I think it's like 40, 30, like somewhere between like 35 and 40 degrees right now. So it's really, really, it's really, really cold. Um, but yeah, anyway, leave a comment down below on where you guys want me to open up Bakugan next. It doesn't need to be outside, but it can also be like some weird place in the house. Anyway, though, guys, leave a comment down below where you guys want me to open Bakugan next. Because again, unfortunately, I cannot do much Bakugan content uh, that's actually like reviews of stuff or unboxings of stuff. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm the detective. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one.